Waffles 101. First thing you need is a good latte. Uh, then you need a good recipe, which I've got. Let's get a couple bowls out. Switch cameras. Well, that's just plain silly. Okay, here we go again. As I was saying, we're making waffles. Okay. So now uh, we want to take, um, in my opinion, one half cup of whole wheat flour. Check it. I'm not too uh, family tech ed or whatever it is about being exact with measurements. It doesn't interest me that much, but you know, you can do it. So now we're going to add a cup of regular flour, and we're going to add another half cup of regular flour. All right, that's nice, right there. Okay, flour's done. Now with our flour, we need... Uh, Baking soda and baking powder. Baking soda and baking powder. Baking soda and baking powder. It's the world's most confusing baking soda. Because they put it in a baking powder container. They're trying to mess with me. Oops, I used baking soda instead of baking powder. Thanks, Trader Joe's. Okay, it's happened before. Half teaspoon. It's so like we want a half teaspoon of baking soda. Soink. And we want a whole teaspoon of baking powder. Is that right? I'm right. Could be two of these halves right here. The baking powder. For those who do not know, baking soda is inactive. It requires an acid. And it also activates at different temperatures. Whereas baking powder is active. It has its own acid or activation agent. And it also activates at different temperatures. Uh, and it's a little more idea for waffle irons. Hmm. Make it a very first, make it a very first. First we go to make the wafers. We mixy, 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 mixy. I think I forgot the sugar. Got to put lots of sugar in your wafers for them to be good. Where's my organic sugar? Ladies and gentlemen, I may be in trouble here. Aha! Okay, first person waffle recipe continues. We want to add three tablespoons of sugar. This is a down home waffle recipe with whole wheat in it. I like it. It's not all frou frou floating in the clouds with my waffles that are only crispy for 10 seconds, but the 10 seconds are so lovely. No, that's not what's happening here today. Down home waffles. Oh, Let's see here. It appears we have achieved dry ingredient perfection. Okay. So, time for the liquid ingredients. Mm. Starting with another sip of my latte. You know what? I think we should do this. I think we should plug in the waffle maker. And I think we should turn the oven on to 200 degrees because that's waffle crisping temperature. 200 degrees. Let's do that. Alright. If you didn't know that, toaster oven or oven, 200 degrees. Keep your waffles crispy for the whole morning. 
Okay, where was I? Um, I'm gonna take three. Uh, I think we need to melt our butter actually. Two ounces of unsalted butter melted. Um, I never really go for the whole unsalted thing. It's like um, you're adding salt to your recipe, buddy. What difference does it make? And I guess your estimations might get a little off, but guess what? They're gonna get off anyway. Now look at this clever gentleman saying, Use two ounces of unsalted butter. Because he's not uncool enough to say a half a cube. Two ounces. Thank you. I'm very impressed. All right. I mean, if the whole recipe was... This is someone else's recipe, which I have modified for my pleasure. So now we're going to take three lovely eggs. I'm a bit of a beat. Take some buttermilk. Nice organic buttermilk. We're gonna take two cups of it, I believe. Am I right? 16 ounces of buttermilk. Sorry, that's two cups. Jerk. One, two. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we have one half cups of regular flour, half cup of whole wheat flour, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Oops. Um, uh, in here, we have two cups of buttermilk with three eggs. Yes, three eggs, whole, beaten, to uh, a half cube of butter. And I believe we're done. That's it. That's the whole recipe. Really good, hearty, yummy, crispy waffles. Of course, the next thing you should do is make sliced strawberries from your garden and homemade vanilla bean whipped cream. No waffle would be complete without it. Uh, so, of course, uh, you can feel free to spice or do anything you want to your batter. Case. I'd say a little bit of nutmeg. Yum, 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 yum. And some orange cake and Vietnamese fair trade cinnamon. Organic spices, folks. Or spices in your medicine. Why would you? Alright, so we were just adding liquids to the dries. Here we go. Just a quick little mix. And that's it. Ready to make a your waffles. Bon appetit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have our perfect batter. We got a waffle maker. Here we go. Now you take a third a cup of batter. And a booyah! This is gonna be some good waffles. Uh, 
Oh yeah, okay, so while we're here, how about I make some whipped cream, huh? Alright, we already got some there. Looks like I need this. These are really the best for whipped cream. Good old manual. I can't stand the electric ones. Big pain in my ass. Very well. I shall dispose of this. Sacrilege! Okay. So, we have our whipping cream. For those of you who have never whipped your own cream, it's really this easy. Um, what I like to do, everyone uses powdered sugar, but I don't need that GMO junk. Organic sugar that I've blended. You don't need much. Just make it whipped cream for God's sake. Um, and I like, I think I'm out of it. This is going really, 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 really opens up the flavor. Hmm, yeah, that looks like I've already opened up these beans. My vanilla stock has been molested. I found some. Okay, what you want is this caviar inside it. Look at that. The seeds. Just like when you get your vanilla bean ice cream, that's what you want. That's your flavor for your ice cream, I mean, for your whipped cream. Ice cream, too. Mm. Alright. That easy. Watch. Count the seconds, folks. Do you really need intoxicating gases to have whipped cream? Or do you just need to not be the laziest? Dad. Around. Look at that. Done. Oh boy, that was hard. Let's go a little further. Don't go too far. You make butter. I almost went too far. You know what? It's gonna be good. I whipped it stiff. Nice crispy waffle. Wow. All right. You know what I'm going to do? No, no, I think that is a good consistency. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to put another waffle in. I'm going to use more batter. You could make it a little thinner. Wouldn't kill you. But I'm into it. Anyway. Serafina, come here, your waffle's ready. Man, why did it switch again? There we go. Your waffle is ready, my dear. You're welcome, sweetheart. Fiend.